Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the checkout button on the shopping cart of your Squarespace website. To be super duper clear, this right here is the checkout button that shows up on the shopping cart page, a page automatically created when someone adds a product from your online store to their shopping cart. Now, unfortunately, we can't customize this individual button using the design menu in Squarespace, but we can with just a little bit of custom CSS. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I would love to teach you how to use them by sharing my screen so you can understand exactly what parts of the code you'll want to change to make it uniquely yours. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1. That's the shopping cart that we're editing. Now, this is an auto page, so we're going to add this custom CSS to our site-wide custom CSS. To do that, we'll navigate to Design and then select Custom CSS. I'm going to scroll up here so I can click on my cart option, and I've added a few demo products to the cart, so we'll see this checkout button that we're going to add some style to. Now, the code I'm about to use is listed in the description below, but we've got a lot to change, so let's get to it. I'll paste the code right here, and instantly you'll see a bunch of changes. I'll go ahead and scroll down on my screen here just a bit so we can see that checkout button. There we go. Now, what we've done is change the background color to a custom hex color code, We've changed the color of the font to blue. We've changed it to a different font family and given it a border radius. And that is just the tip of the iceberg, my friend. There's so much more we can do. Now, let's say you actually want the background color to be a different color. Just change that code and you can adjust it. Let's say the color blue isn't perfect for the text, but we'd rather have it be pink. I can type pink and we're good to go there, but let's actually make it stand out a little bit more. I'll make it a solid white by editing that color code for the line color. Again, this is for the color of the font. Next, I've changed the font family to Serif. You can change this to any font that's already installed on your Squarespace website. The main font on this site is Poppins, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that line so it'll match everything else. There we go. Now, after that, I added a border radius of 50px to curve in the edges there. You can reduce that down to 5 if you just want it to be slightly rounded or remove it completely. Now, let's add a few other custom codes. How about we go ahead and make the font size larger? I'm going to say font size to REM exclamation point important. And there we go. Now it's a gigantic checkout button. Maybe that's a little too big. How about we knock that down to 1.5? Much better. All right, let's give it a custom border as well. I'll add a semicolon and here I can say border. Let how about 5px solid pink. And then we'll add exclamation point important. And there we go. Now we have a border for the checkout button. Now you might be wondering why we have to keep saying important. The CSS file for your website already has codes to customize this button, but when we say exclamation point important after every property and value that we're changing it to, that lets the browser know that it should be using this code over any other code it sees. It prioritizes our custom change. Now let's do one more fun thing and give it a hover effect. I'm going to copy the selector, cart checkout, and here we're actually going to say hover. Now let's open up a curly bracket, and how about we change the background color to yellow? I can spell it correctly, there we go. And now we'll say exclamation point important. And now on a hover, the background changes to yellow. Oh, but the text doesn't stand out on that, so let's change that too. We'll add a semicolon and say color, which is the property for the color of the text. And we'll go ahead and make it a dark gray. And again, we'll say exclamation point important. And now, not only does the button change color, but the text does as well. Pretty awesome, right? So again, edit any of these values so it matches the style of the site that you're going for. You can do all types of different things like font size, font family, give it a border, background color, lots of fun stuff. And if you want to add a hover effect, enter a new line of code that says cart checkout hover, leave that asterisk right there where it is, and then change any property and value that you want to that will only take place when someone hovers over that button with their cursor. Quick reminder, hover effects do not work on mobile because there isn't a cursor. This hover effect is just for desktop. Now, after you've made all the changes you want to see, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. All of the codes that we just used are listed in the description below. Just make sure you update them with the right font, family, colors, and all of the customizations that you'll want to change so they look uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available on Notion, you can access over 500 selectors for customizing your Squarespace website. 
For lifetime access, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.